Bernie Dose presents 8 Signs You're Secretly a Lazy Person There's a difference between having a lazy Sunday where you veg out on the couch after a long week and being lazy every day. Laziness can ruin your success, limiting your accomplishments and earnings, and possibly leading to failure. Whether at work or school, no one wants to get stuck with the lazy person. So, unless you've secured yourself a sugar daddy or a sugar mama to pay and care for you, Listen up, here are 8 signs that you're secretly a lazy person. Number 1. You postpone everything until the last minute. Procrastination is the unnecessary and voluntary postponement of a task or some other responsibility, even though there will be negative consequences. This is perhaps most evident in college students and at work. Some people claim that they work better under pressure, which may be true. But that unnecessary stress and anxiety about whether things will get done is simply not worth it, especially if you've got others relying on you for a group or team project. It's one thing to postpone tasks when it only impacts yourself, but when your procrastination impacts the work of others, it becomes a problem. And this can be a problem at home too, like having unpaid bills, clothes, and dirty dishes piling up. We all procrastinate sometimes, but when I'll do it later becomes your mantra, it indicates that you have slipped into laziness. Why not do now whatever it is you need to do, rather than postpone it until later and then hate yourself for it? Number 2. You have a million and one reasons to skip exercise. It's January 1st, and this is going to be your year for sure. New year, new me. Am I right? Did you know that January 17th has been dubbed Ditch New Year's Resolution Day? That's because that's the day most people are thought to ditch their resolutions. One of those resolutions is commonly related to exercise, either to lose weight or to improve overall health. There are countless benefits to regular physical activity, yet somehow you can come up with endless reasons not to do it. You may say that you don't have time to exercise, but one way or another, you have time to mindlessly scroll through Instagram and TikTok. Or you may claim that you're just really tired. Okay, but are you really? Or are you just being lazy? The truth is that usually you aren't as tired as you think you are. And you'll actually feel more energized after getting a quick workout session in. Number 3. You keep waiting to try something new. You've probably got tons of ideas in your head for exciting things you want to try. Yoga, volunteering, woodworking, coding but you still haven't done any of them. You might have been looking into doing something new for quite a while, but not having taken the plunge could be an indicator of laziness. This could stem from a fear of change or trying something new. The uncertainty and lack of control associated with change require a certain amount of initiative and trust. Unless you've been waiting to try skydiving, your rational mind probably knows that there's no real danger, but you might still worry that expanding your horizons might change you. And change involves growth, which just isn't that appealing to lazy people. Number 4. You are always bored. Despite your laundry list of to-do items, on top of your actual laundry, you can't think of anything to do. There's nothing interesting to watch on TV. There's nowhere to go. There's nothing to do. You're bored. And that could be because you're lazy. Perhaps you're not being challenged. You may not be failing at anything. But that's because you're not trying anything either. You're uninterested at work. You don't have any hobbies and you're not doing anything to better yourself. There's no better time to start than now. Just refer to point number one if you need reassurance. Set some goals, whether personal, professional or otherwise. Write them down. There's something special about putting pen to paper when goal setting. Then get to it. After this video, of course. Number five. You choose to eat junk food when you can cook or eat something better. Most of us eat multiple times a day, and that's one of the best things about being a human. Not only do you get to eat, but you get to choose what you eat. But your food choices can say a lot about you. We have so many options when it comes to food. We can eat out, grab some takeout, get something delivered, cook, or we could eat muffins and Fruit Loops because they don't require pants or dishes. If you pick the last option, and you regularly pick this one, your eating habits are pointing to laziness. Doing so once in a while is okay, 
But junk food is not one of the major food groups and does not constitute a balanced diet. Take a look at what you're eating. It says a lot about you. After all, you are what you eat. Number 6. You don't wash your face or brush your teeth at night. Girls, last night's mascara under your eyes is not cute, nor is it particularly good for your skin. Yet, you regularly skip washing your face and go to bed with your makeup on. And fellas, we know you're guilty of not brushing your teeth after your bedtime snack. These two simple tasks are quick and painless. They're also important for your appearance and hygiene. Sure, it would be nice not to have to get up after just getting cozy in bed, but skipping out on menial tasks like these makes your efforts at bigger things rather questionable. Number 7. You have too much stuff. When it comes to spring cleaning, it may feel like you're eternally stuck in winter. You just never quite manage to get there. You have so much stuff everywhere that you could be featured on the next season of Hoarders. You're being forced out of your own space by inanimate objects that have started to take root in your home. Channel your inner Marie Kondo to determine what still sparks joy and ditch the rest. Getting rid of the old means making room for the new. So focus on all the great things that are about to manifest in your life. Number 8. You always wonder why you're like this. You feel it deep inside. There's something that needs to change, but you just haven't done it. Do you ever find yourself asking, why am I like this? Maybe even just jokingly? The fact that you're thinking about it means that you're not completely in denial. Acknowledgement is a huge first step. However, you must still act on those thoughts in order to move forward. Laziness is not sexy, nor will it help you achieve your goals and live a better life, since both of those things require effort and hard work. But the rewards from hard work are pretty sweet. So if your laziness is holding you back from achieving your goals, or you don't have any goals, get yourself in gear. There's too much beauty in the world to waste time being lazy. What do you think? Do you find that you relate to these more than you'd like to? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching 